Let me thank you. I thank you for your honor for doing me the honor. Who invite me not only to be part of this celebration, but also, especially, to give a message. There are many, 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 many people who are better than myself and who you have you will have called that gave me special honor to be here to give the sermon. I fairly state with you on this special occasion. Amen. When I was invited, I thought I was least qualified to be here and give a sermon because I'm not an ordained pastor. But as I said, haven't given me the honor. I have to live up to the occasion. And I did not hesitate to accept the invitation. <laughs> Two occasions have been celebrated. Fifteenth year of the ministry. And the first year anniversary of opening, commissioning, and dedicating this sanctuary. You see, for the double celebration is a, the theme for the double celebration is harvest of testimony. Last year, Pastor Adeboye who gave the sermon at the commissioning and dedication of the sanctuary, used the passage, John, 14.16. And it reads, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. But, Pastor Adeboye actually dwelt on I am the way. That Jesus is the way for everything in our life. And I thought I should follow along along the path of the theme and along the sermon of Pastor Adeboye. So I titled my sermon for, for this uh, double celebration giving 
testimony. Giving testimony. My first passage is found in Genesis chapter 40, verse 8. And it reads, do not, do not interpretation belong to God. Give me your dreams. That was said by Joseph. Joseph when he was in the prison with the chief copier and the chief baker of King Pharaoh. And he said it to them when they both had dreams. And they did not know the interpretation of their dream. And Joseph, Joseph, giving honor to God, and he said, "Don't do not interpretation belong to God." Even though he is the one who was going to give the interpretation. The second passage is found in Exodus chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. I read, Let my people go so that they may hold a festival for me in the desert. Who is the Lord that I should obey him and let Israel go? I do not know the Lord and I will not let Israel go. Aaron and Moses went to deliver God's message to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh is then fully. Pharaoh And he rejected the word of God. But not only did he reject, he said he did not know God and he didn't want to know God, and of course, he will not let Israel go. The third passage is Exodus chapter 18, verse 8. Moses told his father-in-law about everything the Lord had done to Pharaoh, the Egyptian and the Egyptians, for Israel's sake, and about all the hardships they had made along the way, and how the Lord had saved Come to the title of my exhortation. Giving testimony. What then is testimony? Testimony is evidence given by a witness. Testimony must put God first. As we have seen in David, uh, in Joseph, 
Yosef did, and he made God the actual interpreter of dreams. So if you are not say, oh, do I want to We must, in our testimony, make God look good. As Moses, uh, as uh, Joseph had done. Joseph Paul and Barnabas answered them boldly. First, we must give testimony and speak about God. This is in Acts chapter 13, verse 46. Testimony is not showing off. Or pride. It, has, it is an act of Christian life and Christian living. It must be part of daily living experience of a Christian. Together, let us look at some reasons why we must give testimony or put another way, or put another way what are the purposes of giving testimony one it is an act of worshiping thanking and praising god Psalms are full of testimony of David. Worshipping, praising, and thanking God. I read when I call the answered me. Psalm 138, verse 3. Another one, I was pushed back. And about to fall. But let, let Lord help me. Psalm 118, verse 13. Psalm 118, David's testimonies of God's greatness, immensity, and mightiness. And glory were great acts of worship. God. And with such worship, God was pleased that he called David a man after God's own heart. That you find in Acts chapter 13, verse 22. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
he was in the prison with the chief of Bela and the chief baker of King Pharaoh. And he said to them, when they both had dreams, and they did not know the interpretation of their dreams. And Joseph, we said to give honor to God. And he said, Don't do not interpretation belong to God. Even though he is the one who was going to be the interpretation. Second passage is found in Exodus chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. I read, let my people go so that they may hold a festival for me in the desert. Who is the Lord that I should obey him? and let Israel go. I do not know the Lord, and I will not let Israel go. Aaron and Moses, Aaron and Moses went to deliver God's message to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh is this fully and he rejected the word of God. But not only did he reject, he said he did not know God and he didn't want to know God and of course he would not let the third passage is Exodus chapter 18, verse 8. Moses told his father in law. About everything the Lord had done to Pharaoh, the Egyptian and the Egyptians, for Israel's sake, and about all the hardships they had led along the way, and how the Lord has saved them. Come to the title of my exhortation. Giving testimony. What then is testimony? Testimony is evidence given by a witness. Testimony must put God first. As we have seen in, David, uh, in Joseph, Joseph did and he made God the interpreter of dreams. We must in our testimony make God look good as Moses uh, 
as uh, Joseph had done. Did Joseph would she? Paul and Barnabas answered them boldly. Paul and Barnabas down to go ya to go ya. First, we must give testimony and speak about God. This in Acts chapter 13, verse 46. Testimony is not showing off. Or pride. It, has, it is an act of Christian life and oh. Christian living. Oh, that is it must be part of daily living experience of a Christian. Oh, no, Christian. Together, let us look at some reasons why we must give testimony or put another or put another way, what are the purposes of giving testimony? One, it is an act of worshiping, thanking and praising God. Psalms are full of testimony of David. Worshipping, praising, and thanking God. I read when I called you answered me. Psalms 138, verse 3. Another one, I was pushed back. And about to fall. But the Lord helped me. Psalm 118, verse 13. Psalm 118, verse 13. of God's greatness, immensity, and mightiness. And glory were great acts of worship. God. And with such worship, God was pleased that he called David a man after God's own heart. If you go alone, as if you go alone, as if you go alone, as if you go alone, that you find in Acts chapter 13, verse 22. You know, we shall have to look at the last verse of the video. God himself, David, a man after God. Testimonies as acts of worship strengthen our relationship with God. My soul runs even faint for the courts of the Lord. I don't know Testimony strengthens our faith except through me. But after the boy actually dwelt on I am the way. And that Jesus is the way for everything in our life. And I thought I should follow along along the path of the field and along the sermon of Pastor Deboe. So I have titled my sermon. 
for this double celebration giving testimony giving testimony my first passage is found in Genesis chapter 40 verse 8 and it reads, do not two occasions are being celebrated. I want to commit your call. Put your fifteenth year of the ministry. And the first year anniversary of opening commissioning and dedicating this sanctuary. You see, for the double celebration is the theme for the double celebration is harvest of testimony. Last year, Pastor Adeboye who gave the sermon at the commissioning and dedication of this sanctuary. You the pastor. There are many, 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 many people who are better than myself. And who you have you will have told that gave me a special honor to be here to give the sermon. I felicitate with you on this special occasion. When I was invited, I thought I was least qualified to be here. And there was something. Because I'm not an ordained pastor. But as I said, I haven't given me the honor. I have to lay up to the Christian. And I did not hesitate. Let us go.